Welcome everyone, Vulcan Deckmasters, week two, day one, with me, Wombat, casting again. How are you doing, man? I am doing very good, had a very entertaining weekend watching you work your way to second place in Challenge Stone. I gotta say congratulations on that one, uh, but now it's time to get serious. No more of those funny one-off decks. Uh, it's gonna be guys doing some work here uh, as we're gonna hopefully fairly quickly move into Orange versus Harudra for our first uh, set of the day. Yeah, I mean, Orange has been doing somewhat, uh, he's been on a rough run so far in the, the event. Um, you know, I've talked to you about this initially in the first week. It's a bit, uh, it's a player who's gotten really, you know, sick wins. He's gotten two big tournament wins to his name. But the consistency is not always there when you see him play in tourneys, uh, which is pretty weird, to be honest. Like, he's a really solid player, but sometimes he looks like he's putting a lot more effort and focus into his game. So maybe he'll pick up a win against Harudra. Again, Harudra, a player not well-known at all. We've seen him play twice last week. Once versus Gara, uh, against which he lost. And one versus Trump, against which, you know, he did win on the first day. So he must have felt pretty good at that point. We'll see if he can pick it up versus Orange. Yeah, one of those things that's always very interesting about tournament players is, especially when it comes to card games, you always have those, well, and even all around the esports world, you have those people who do really great in online tournaments and then those people that do really, really well in a live situation. Possibly it's the added pressure of a live situation that really makes them buckle down and they're just not able to quite get the focus up to snuff uh, when they're sitting at home uh, on their computer in a little bit more comfortable of a setting. And, and, you know, that could be uh, Orange's problem here. He's just, when he's sitting at home, he's not able to get that focus. The tension doesn't bring him up to his best possible play. Uh, but right now he's sitting 0-2 overall for sets and uh, that's not a great place to be in as the group round rolls on yeah i mean it's going to be i mean it's not over by any by any actually we, we calculated last week that at best i think he can tie with some other players he has to win his next two matches with the loss versus harudra and the loss versus gara i think this puts um now, he lost one versus Gar, sorry, and one versus Trump. With those two losses, he has to win against Harodra today and against Hawkeye uh, later, I think, this week. Or, yeah, that, it is, I believe, later this week or in the next week. It, he's going to have to win his next two matches. And at best, he's going to tie um, with the two top players at the moment. And it's unlikely that Gar or Trump will be getting a lower score than they already have. So Orange is going to have to do his best to get in the top three. Again, three players move in each round. Uh, it's just going to be, like, really competitive at this point. Absolutely. I mean, it's a play to stay alive kind of situation. A play to stay alive and then hope that other people uh, just get absolutely run into the ground. Orange is having some uh, lag troubles with his computer, so his webcam's not going to be not on sure. today. The admins are aware of that. Um, was it Orange who ran into the rope last week? Uh, I can't for the life of me remember. No, it was Orange. Don't you remember orange. his face with the group face? Yeah, I remember the soul crushing, but I blocked everything else. I saw the rope and I saw sadness, and that's that's the picture. It's you know, mind. if you haven't seen this, guys, I urge you to look up the VOD from last week because that Friday uh, against Trump, Orange was – he had lethal, but the Grim patrons were facing off against their deadliest enemy – the sludge belcher and the combination of everybody trying to get in here at the same time and the belcher trying to vomit a slime led to the rope just crushing orange he lost to the rope he basically did. is what happened that was just <laughs> excruciating to look at it really 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 yeah. was i mean his, his nightmares for months to come are yeah. gonna be shouts of everybody get in here and <laughs> he's gonna wake up in a cold sweat he's gonna go no do everybody don't get in here yeah, I can't. I still can't believe that. By the way, like that game, I still will remember for a long time. All right, so we're getting to the first game here: Harudra versus Orange. Both players. Um, I mean, that's a mid-range hunter, it seems. And Orange, we don't know the deck that he's brought for the day. He's got Warrior Hunter in his lineup. And he's gonna start. It's gonna be a Hunter versus Warrior. So Harudra Spec as the mid-range hunter. Spec bug, but I'm gonna slow us down on that one. And the, and the most notable thing so far is that Harudra has shaved. His facial hair. Is he trying to look more like orange? Uh, possibly. He wants that clean cut look. I liked him before. I thought he had a, a rugged, uh, brawny guy kind of look to him. Uh, I would have bought paper towels off of him now. Not even, not <laughs> yeah, even no. car insurance would I buy no. from this guy. So I think Harudra possibly just gave away his best asset there, and he could be in some trouble. So, <laughs> Loot order uh, executed. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna ask you. This is obviously Grim Patron versus Midrange Hunter, right? Yeah. Um, considering Savannah Hymane's in there and we saw Dr. Boom in the initial mulligan. Of those two, usually Patron Warrior is favored. 
by a slight margin. I think it's less uh, it's less guaranteed than maybe say against Face Hunter, but it's still you know favored for the Warrior. I wonder if Orange's problems with Patron will arise again. I mean, the odds are I, pretty slim. You know, he's taken the precautions. He's got his webcam off. So, I mean, hopefully he's not going to run into any weird hang-ups uh, over time. I mean, he's certainly getting the draws out here early on uh, that look good to set him up for that. Going to get Thorisan there on the next pickup. He's got his loot hoarder out on the board. But, you know, again, he's, he's, he's set himself up for success here, likely knowing that he's going to be running that same deck in. So, uh Hopefully, hopefully that's all he needs is webcam off, and that's going to be enough for him. But uh, Harudra putting together a, a nice looking hand here so far. He's got uh, two traps in. He's got the Savannah High Main. Not a lot of early game look. Well, but, yeah, uh, Orange but has to be worried about that Hound Master. Like you have to pop the Spider just because you're afraid of a Coin Hound Master here, which would really put a dent in your ability to hand answer this, especially without a weapon. Right? There is no weapon right now in Orange's hand, and that is very important to get early on. No, sir. Piloted Shredder going to come out now for Harudra. He's got his little spider friends on the board. And a uh, nice, little, nice little slow game here early on. We'll see what he does with the Houndmaster, if he's going to play on it. Harudra thinking about it for the moment. Yeah. yeah you, there's, um, there's this thing with uh, when you're playing Patron Warrior against just about anyone, is you want to take face damage. At least one. You just want to take one face damage for Battle Rage. And right now, Harudra hasn't any dealt any damage to Orange's face. So I have to wonder if, let's say, Harudra plays a Shredder, is he going to attack with both spiders or just the one? Like, yeah, I, I wonder how much he'll read into it, because the proper play here, I would venture to say, is probably to attack just with the one. But a lot of people might make uh, the double attack. I, I'm not sure. I just, I, it, I get a feel. Oh, I, oh I don't like that. bug lag, yeah. Ah. He's going to send one over. Dread Corsair out now for Orange. He's got he his draw two Smith cards on the here. Field. He's gonna draw two cards because the battle rage is gonna enable it instead of just the one card. Oh man! The battle rage. Let's see what he, picks. <laughs> I, he, he, he wanted to be aggressive, and uh, he's gonna get a cruel taskmaster and a fiery war axe on the back of those draws. Throw the axe down and get rid of that shredder. That is sick. That is actually really good. That fiery war axe allowing him to remove the recurrent four damage. And just simply take it once, and he's going to be able to play a cheap Dread Corsair and a Cruel Taskmaster. Orange's position is already looking pretty solid. Harudra going to pick up a taunt, which will slow things down just the tiniest little bit. Gets us Unleash the Hounds as well. So Harudra with some options here, uh, at least going into the next couple of turns. He's going to go Knife Juggler this turn, looks like. Do you like Freezing Trap here? Like, how much do you like Freezing Trap, basically? Ooh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a hard call. Yeah, I, I think I'd, yeah. Over, yeah. Yes, I like it. Yes, okay. I decided. Yeah, so Hero Power to weave in more damage or Freezing Trap. He's got really, like, two options. I'd want to get, I mean, because you're starting to get to that point where Orange's hand is looking a little bit scary, so you want a little bit of insurance, right? You want a little yeah. bit of, you know, give me a little bit more time. That taunt, uh... Oh, man. You know, Orange could well. get... Like, if, if there is a Freezing Trap falling down... Orange can play around it with a Warsong Commander, Cruel Task, kill the 2-2 the two -two that's now damaged, and then uh, attack with the 2-2 two -two into the Juggler, Freezing Trap triggers, and then he gets to kill it with the Fiery War Axe. So if he does go for the Trap, Orange can play around it magnificently. And he is going to go for the Trap there, send it back over. Obviously, with perfect information, it's easy to make those calls. For oh, of Rudra, course, yeah, definitely. Not going to have the benefit <laughs> of seeing Orange's hand. <laughs> So he is going to throw down the uh, the sensible choice, if not the best one going forward. Dread Corsair, the look here from Orange. He's going to throw... Come on. Come on. Just let it go. Let the pirates... Let them free. Yeah, you can just kill that with the Cruel Taskmaster. I really like Orange's play. It's, like, it's obviously much better than going for Warsong, Cruel Task, and everything else. He doesn't need to trigger the trap just yet. The only drawback is, of course, if Arudra picks up a bow. But even then, I mean, it's not that big of a problem for you as a warrior. Yep, sends the juggler packing. Harudra's board cleared. Freezing trap still waiting to be triggered. He's going to grab a web spinner, which may be Curse good. Curse the Houndmaster. Yeah, that's pretty solid. I don't hate that. And he's going to curve nicely into the high main. I think Lotheb was probably somewhat of a more interesting card to find here. But Patrons uh -oh. for orange. And here it starts. <laughs> Here's the... The potential nightmares for Orange could turn into actual yeah. nightmares for Harudra. We'll see how quick Would, he's able to uh, play this time. Emperor Thorsten enabling the turn seven Warsong patron. It's like it doesn't get better than this. Like it's it's crazy good. 
Trap triggered. Back goes the Taskmaster. And out comes the Thorsan. So Orange going to make out pretty good there. Clears the taunt away, and he's ready for a big next turn. What do you do here? You have to kill Thorsan, but you can't. Oh, wow. The only way for him to do so is to waste the unleash on a single minion. If he'd magically had a sniper hanging out in his deck. <laughs> so, didn't. Weirdly. I, doesn't everybody? Oh, how doesn't do everybody you do this? Looks like he's going to go with it. He's going to drop the high main. And Orange is going to be able to pop that high main and spawn a ton of patrons off of the 2-2 two -two hyenas. That's just rough and everything going to get just a little bit cheaper on the back side of it as well. Oh, wow. This is not Some. good for Harudra. He's just going to have to Usually high main, speed. usually pretty sweet here against a warrior, but not this time. Set up beautifully. Slam. Uh, do you? I guess you could. Why not? Spawn an extra 1-1. Yeah. One, one. An extra 3-3. Three, three for your whirlwind. That way clear. you can attack. Yeah. And Death's Bite going to be the draw there. Yeah, sends the patron over. Yeah, not bad value there. And then Whirlwind out. Going to bring and in the execute. patron party. Well, Harujo's going to be in a world of pain. Yeah, just, I mean, a, a rough spot to be in. In comes, comes everybody. Big board now for Orange. Uh, I mean, there's... Some clearing that could happen. I'm sure he's wishing that explosive trap had been on now as the uh, the freezing got a little bit of work done, but uh, ended up making sure there's a big board of patrons. Out comes a mad scientist. Too little too late there. Does he, uh, does he ever go for a, like an Unleash explosive play where you set up everything so that it will die right away without spawning additional patrons? Because the board's filled up, so you can start pinging away the patrons um, without too much of a problem. Yeah, there's it's definitely an opportunity sure for some... For some smart play. Yeah, uh, he's gonna go for it, obviously. Yeah, I mean this is this is the time to do. I mean, you're gonna get your best value out of this. He's gonna send his hounds over and oh uh, yeah, he remembers Thor Sands on the board, which I think just about yeah, okay. everybody got at this point. You're kinda like patrons. What? Oh wait, no, we gotta stop making his hands super cheap. Getting everything set up uh, for a nice big wipe if he can manage it. And he's gonna get yeah, good value for the trap. Yeah, you set everything up so it does to explosive trap. But I think like it's obvious Orange is gonna have to play into it. Um, as a result of not having the choice. Yeah, it's either pass the turn back over or Yeah. Take oh it man, he can't even play the frothing berserker to get a benefit out of this. Unfortunately for himself. Ima imagine playing that frothing berserker here. Like yeah, you just play yeah, it before absolutely. your explosive trap, you it has charge, you win. Like that is it. Yeah. I mean, smart play by Harudra. Though it's it's you know pretty much the only play he had available to him that was going to keep him hanging around in this game. But uh, you know, really smart, nice clean play there. It puts Orange in a bit of a of a rough spot, and he's going to armor up. I mean, what do you do? You just send it back over, and and <laughs> I mean, you don't you, oh, you can armor up. So the hero power, else, right? I, you yeah. could play Death Bite. Um, I guess, and develop it now to see what you can get done with it. Because passing now means you're not going to get the discount for Thorson. And the moment your opponent plays a minion, you can trade away your stuff so, to, so as to play the frothing, and then it'll get buffed. Until then, Harudra has to pass in hero power every single turn. Absolutely. And the, the hero mean, powers a, will cancel each other out. So It's a crazy stalemate here where I, Harudra's only winning move here is Instead not to play, and, play. and it's, yeah, exactly. the, it's the same for Orange. <laughs> they have to sit here. And, I mean, Harudra might draw into something that solves the problem for him. Orange but, could uh, actually find like uh, a whirlwind if he wanted, where all he has to do is kill off a bunch of his cards already on the board and then develop other stuff on the back end. Like It's all about clearing at least one minion is what Orange wants to do, and as a result, Harudra can't play anything. Arudra obviously not satisfied with the situation as he's not sending it back <laughs> just yet, but the rope comes and that's his time to send it back across. Grim patron now for Orange in case he, he I mean, he, he is building a nice board on the back side of this. So, I mean, it's really going to be at Orange's behest unless Harudra finds a really nice clear. His deck not really particularly threatening uh, at the moment as he's just got a big gangly bird, a spider, a mad scientist, an abusive sergeant. It's not the scariest thing in the world. 
Uh, not until all of Orange's board is just absolutely wiped out. He knows it's the explosive trap. There's just, again, only winning move right now is not to play. Honestly, if that Emperor Thorsten was a grim patron, Harudra would probably be fairly happy because it's not going to do anything. Like, you, you, there's not going to be a swing coming back. Oh, wow. Can you really do this? Ooh, he's gonna... I mean, everything dies, right? Anyway, like, the first trap to trigger is explosive. So I guess you've got no drawback doing this. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. My outrage was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. And there's the whirlwind. So Orange now going to be... Uh, he's got some options. He sees yeah, the he's, options. He's going to go he's straight. He's got to do it. Oh, yeah, he puts it back down. I mean, honestly, do you... St but a, a realistic question here. Do you sit on that whirlwind for a minute and just let oh, Thorasan no. keep doing his thing? Because literally, Haruja can't could do, do it. Yeah, one more turn. You know, you play... You just armor up. You could play Death's Bite for free next turn and then start setting up some crazy Grim Patron plays. Because the thing is, if he uses whirlwind now, then that's one less whirlwind effect for the next Grim Patron. Um, so he might be considering letting Haruja or forcing Haruja to play stuff. I just really like playing Whirlwind now because you can develop the other patron and then use your weapon to attack into Explosive Trap, triggering the patron right away. Yeah, and again, he does have a very, very nice board there. It looks like he's going to set up the Death Spite first. And, okay, he starts attacking here. Going to trigger it, uh, hover over the Grim Patron there. We'll see if he dropped it as everything catches on up. Uh, board cleared. There's the patron. Taskmaster. There it no, is. Rest in yep, peace, Rudra, next turn. You will be taking some serious damage. All the patrons in the world. Yep, just a big weight on that whirlwind. He finally gets it, and Orange going to be able to go to town now. As Rudra, I mean, still just a very, a very kind of pallid hand there that he's holding on to. Not a lot, especially in the face of a big old board full of patrons. Eagle Horn Bow. Not late. a bad draw, but uh, <laughs> in this situation, not going to be too much help. Oh, yeah, I would probably just concede here. I mean, knowing, you know how Patreon operates when they get the second one. Like, it was a nice stalemate, and I think that's the best you can hope for in the situation like this. I mean, it's not a guaranteed win for, for Patreon Warrior in, you know, by any stretch of the imagination against this deck. But it's usually something like 65% uh, win rate, perhaps like 60-65%. So... Not surprised here that Orange picks it up, and that's going to be one game in his favor. But he's going to have to win with the second deck that he's got, which is, as we know, a Hunter deck. Yep. And, uh, I mean, a smooth play by Orange there. He, he kept it calm. He saw the stalemate. He didn't play into anything stupid. I mean, Harudra just nailed to the wall there. Not a lot he could do. His deck didn't pan out for him, uh, you know, as the patrons started coming onto the field. And what are you going to do about that? But keep in mind, right now, Harudra... Uh, I feel like our standing for Harudra isn't right. It says 1 0. But yeah, I know Harudra, I watched it. Harudra's 0 1, yeah. Harudra's 0 1. And no, no, he beat, he beat Trump on the first day, so he's 1 1 or 1 2. I'm not one, sure. 1 1, yeah. He's 1 yeah. He's one, one so, both overall. Okay. So uh, Harudra's sitting at 1 1. 0 2 right now for Orange. So, I mean, he's the guy that's got to win here. If Harudra can kind of afford to give up another one, obviously, you don't want to. You want to go uh, 2 1 and, and really be in a good spot to make it through to that, uh, the semifinals and finals and all that good stuff. Oh, but, man. Uh, Illyria, yeah. Windrunner versus Rexar. What's this? A non-mirror match, mirror match? What is that? The best kind so that you get some variety. You know what I mean? Rexar, he's a handsome guy, but uh, sometimes you just you get tired of looking at orange and you want to see some, some purple for a while. But I'll, I'll say this right now. Um, I realize that the... When I face a golden, like, Illyria on ladder, and she actually starts emoting, and she she plays face hunter, obviously, right? Because that's all they play on ladder. <laughs> I don't mind it as much coming from her. Like, it doesn't yeah. sound as annoying, you know? It, it, for some weird reason. Yeah, Rexar's not the most uh, eloquent guy. So when you get to mix it up. Of course, you do have that. You've developed a hate for Jaina because of the, uh, the banana. The banana <laughs> the flame brawl. waker. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Uh, Haruja losing the trap here to the knife shoulder hit, and it doesn't really matter for Orange because he does have decent follow-ups. Indeed so. Crocolis going to come out for Harudra. Got his abusive sergeant juggler of his own. He's got his hounds as well. He's also and, got uh, a Lothab for early, the coin next turn if he wants Lothab it. Lothab and an early Dr. Boom as well, so, uh, you know. If he can get that out uh, unanswered, because that's the real mirror match lately of Hearthstone is, is Dr. Boom, Dr. Boom. Not only is it who plays it first, it's who gets the best boom bots when you play it yeah. first. 
Yeah, yeah. It's and for some reason, when they go face, they're always one damage. You never get that four damage on the face. That you, when you really need it, when you're just like, come on, hit him in the face for four, one. Well, there well, I, I mean, when my boom boss hit, they hit for one. When their boom boss yeah. hit, yeah, when theirs hit, like they seventeen, hit for three of course, four, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's a problem there, I think. Abusive sergeant gonna buff up that crocolisk, and Harudra gonna send it back over to Orange, who grabs a kill command. That's not a bad card. Not very useful here. I think I like playing Core Rager because, like Shredder or Core Rager, either or. Like you have two choices. Oh, you gotta just go for the stickier minion, which obviously, in the face of nothing really threatening, is the better option. Really no, well, we see Lothab. I wouldn't be surprised too, because it lives through the the, um, the four three, and it's really only weak to like a beast beasted up kill command or a hunter's mark from the shredder, which really isn't that likely. Yep, and he's just gonna have to sit on stuff for a turn. He's got his own Lothab if he that wants. That is a crazy outcome for him. Top decking this gave him a clear play. Anything else was kind of eh. That is definitely what he wanted. Yeah, it's all bad value, but that's okay because he's going to get his own Lothab out right in time for a freezing trap to get stuck. And uh, Harudra got a web spinner and a knife juggler if he wants to, uh, Pop if he that wants shredder. to juggle down that shredder. Yeah. Otherwise, he's just going to have to sit and think. Um, I mean, I don't think you trade Lothab to Lothab, right? And then, uh, well, I think you have to start with the juggler first. Yeah. And then you see where that leads. Unless I guess you're guaranteed to make that trade. If you know you want to make that trade, you can always juggle afterwards because that increases the odds to 50% instead of 33. Yep. And maybe you're going to send the web. You might want to keep the juggler for the unleash play because his turn six is very dry, right? As a result, he needs to curve it with Dr. Boom. Wow, he just plays it very aggressively, and now Orange is going to have to play defensively from this perspective. Yeah, I mean, a smart play there is it's going to... It's going to be very easy for him to do so. Look at this. Yeah, it's not like it's going to be a problem. Hunter's Mark, he pulls a Mad Scientist as well, so those traps can come to the party any old time now. We'll Final see what he does. Companion, kill Command to kill the Lothab. Yeah, That's plenty of options. Simple. Yeah, he's got a ton of options. I mean, that Mad Scientist also allowing him, as you said... To play with the knife juggler and the hunter's mark, giving him a 66% chance to kill one of the two minions. And if it hits Lothab, that's going to be a huge step up. Yeah, and I mean, a great value on your shredder as well is sitting 4 1. So, I mean, if you want to get some work started with him, there you go. He's going to hunter's right. mark over. And Crazy value here. Let's see what it hits. Play juggle time. We need a drum oh, roll. Oh, and he gets oh, the load them with it. The craziest outcome. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but now, and now, Harudra is pretty happy because his turn nine, six right? is going to be useful. He had nothing besides the juggler unleash, and suddenly that juggler unleash is going to do something relevant, He's which it like, wasn't just a second ago. A little bit of a health advantage, not anything you're going to be upset to see, especially with the board uh, Orange is developing there. It's, it's going to be just a nice little play for him this time. It's going to take his time. He's never in a rush. Always comfortable. He's always doing the. Uh, mm -hmm. What's that guy's name? Gendo from uh, Neon Genesis pose. There, he needs some glasses. That's what he needs. And, uh, Mukla, oh my goodness! Put this apple on your nice. That's a pretty good play <laughs> team card. Against, I've been. Uh, see, there's been a lot of Mukla after the Challenge Stone this weekend. Just they should do that one day. Like for the for one week, they troll all the players. Every single Animal Companion ends in Huffer, yeah. and then every single West Winner gives you a Mukla. That's yes. That's the brawl. That's yes. <laughs> yes. It, every random card drop is Mukla. Like, all randoms are Mukla. That's the... Pilot the, of Sky Golem, Mukla. Pilot yeah. of Shredder, Mukla. Everything is Mukla. Everything's Mukla. <laughs> Not steal double Mukla. <laughs> oh, what? And he's a good <laughs> He picks up another mad, mad scientist. scientist. I think you can't start clearing away the board here. If you do, you're going to fall behind. You have to hope that the race can get on and you're going to win it. Yeah, that health advantage could turn into a pretty nice little spot right here as uh, Orange is going to pull himself a Haunted Creeper. Um, you know, obviously you got to send that mad scientist over and make friends with Hound, right? Uh, get yourself something by a little time in case he's got some big cards to come out with Mukla and Dr. Boom in the hand. Shoot. Yeah, nice definitely. We're going to see a Boom on 7. Unless Mukla, quick shot, freezing trap looks that much better. Grabs Misha, which will uh, you know make it a little bit more comfortable. He can mosey around the board uh, with a little bit more impunity, but uh, still, I mean, it's going to be a fairly hefty next turn here for Harudra. He's going to go to face for five. He can see the sort. He's not Orange, not fully committing to just. Uh, race he can't down, he do can't. it. He, like 
Harujo can't kill this board, unfortunately, and he picks up a pretty good card, though. This is a card that he's definitely happy to see, because you can Explosive Trap, Quick Shot Lothab, and then you can play Freezing Trap on the back end, so that the Explosive triggers first, and then the Freezing Trap will trigger on whatever's left. Mm, Man, that is, a really good, that is a pretty good card for Harudra. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to slow down the Dr. Boom, obviously, just a little bit. But, uh, I mean, do, what do you do? Do you, do you send the Boom out anyway? Harudra's thinking hard about it. Oh, you can't. You're dead. Look on the board. Yeah. He's dead oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Side. It's big minions now, isn't it? Yeah, rest in peace. Harudra, yeah. if he does that, if he plays Dr. Yeah. Boom, I'm going to be flabbergasted. Oh, yeah, Hunter Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hero Power. And he's got a kill command, obviously. Which... Uh-oh. Freezing Trap. Freezing no Trap. Oh, see. no, the Hound. Oh. That puts a dent in his ability to answer this. Now, suddenly, that play doesn't look nearly as good. Oh, and he's got to... He's, he's got to do it, but the freezing trap is not going to work. I mean, a little bit of time here, but yeah, no, does he? Can he clear? Yeah, he can clear... Everything but the core rager. That's why he needed to be able to play freezing trap on the back end, but since that was the explosive... Uh, the freezing Savannah trap... I mean, for orange, another big grab. Just, uh, I mean, a, a solid, a smooth curve there for Orange gets him right in the way of Dr. Boom in a way that uh, Harudra just couldn't do anything about. Got his secret in play now. And uh, Savannah High Main going to get dropped onto the field. I mean, a lot of big damage here. He's going to have Orange. to get, he's going to have to kill that 4 2 and play Freezing Trap in the same turn. Otherwise, that High Main is going to finish the game off. Ugh, could that be the Huffer game? he's waiting for? I guess you? Misha's not have that either, but... Uh-oh, yeah, the worst. He's going to get Leoc. <laughs> he's going to get Leoc and play a freezing trap and uh, wee 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 all the way home. Yeah, that's going to be it. Yeah. For that one, sends the hero power across. Uh, an impotent two damage. Uh, and unleash the hounds on the back of it in case Orange wasn't happy enough with his board situation. He is going to get that sent back into the hand. And not a Orange problem, is going to take this series... Two to one, basically. Harujo not even getting a single win off of Orange, which means I think that Orange has a chance to equalize in his group uh, with some of the two players who are at the top over there at the moment, Gar and Trump. Both the two wins. Orange needs to win his game against Hawkeye as well to just equalize. And Harudra is also going to have to win his game against Hawkeye to at least contest the game versus uh, yeah. Orange. Orange. Very least. I mean, he's got to be. If you're orange, you got to be happy there to end up uh, one, two. Obviously, had a, a real rough start there. I mean, had Trump hundred percent nailed to the wall uh, in that patron game and uh, just roped out on it. What are you gonna do? But yeah. uh, convincing two zero victory here over Harudra, who uh, has, I mean, been playing pretty well so far this tournament. Had a couple of stumbles here and there, but uh, a solid win there for Orange. Gonna possibly keep him alive in his group. Who yeah. knows? Look what happened. I'm just, uh, I just want to reiterate for those of you who might not have been around initially, this is a best of three conquest format. People with a ban. People bring three decks um, in a conquest format, so they have to win with each of the decks they have, and one of the decks they bring gets banned. So this makes it easier for the players to target a specific counter deck that they really don't want to face off against and eliminate it from the pool and go through with whatever strategy they've got. Of course, the variance is higher, but the, it does allow for a lot more deck targeting. If they think the players they're going to be facing are going to be playing specific play styles, they can target that very easily. Absolutely, and of course, the Vulcan Deck Masters Tournament brought to you by Vulcan. Head over to Vulcan.com and uh, check them out. Some great fantasy esports stuff happening over there, and of course, brought to you as well by Squarespace. Head over to Squarespace.com. Slash, is it Deck Masters? Slash Deck Masters, I'm going to check. Slash Deck Masters, yes, that's what it is. Yeah, there we Basically, go. Basically, build a website. If you don't know how to build a website, it's going to be super easy. Just check them out. Again, thanks for Squarespace for doing this. We're going to be taking a short break, and we'll be right back with Colento versus Bunny Muffins. Bunny Muffins is a very high ladder player versus uh, the, you know, the god of Hearthstone, Colento. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've got no other words for this. So don't go anywhere, guys. Stay tuned in. We'll be right back.